Okay, now this is getting a bit silly now. This is another 10 watt floodlight and it's tiny, it's a little handheld one. And I saw this while I was uh, buying some other stuff on eBay and it was from China and it was £5, which is about $8. So I thought, well, let's take a look at it. I'm not expecting big things, but we'll see what it looks like. So first surprise when I, when I took it out of the box was its size, because up to then, this had been the typical size of a 10 watt floodlight, and this is small. So um, I'll plug it in. Oh, and also with it I got more mushroom lights. Apparently I'd ordered these at the same time. And I've ordered more. I'm ordering far too many of these. This is what happens uh, when you have nocturnal eBay sessions. So um, let's plug this in and test it. Oh, we'll do the earth test. So I've already got its uh, modestly short lead. I have to say its lead is slightly longer than, uh, than many others. So we'll test from the earth pin. Onto the case, and it's earthed. That's a good start. So let's plug it into the power meter. Doesn't look that bright. Power meter says 4 watts. So this is another one they've put a 3 watt ballast in. And to be fair, it says 10 watt lamp LED fixture in the front, and the chip inside is 10 watt, but they're putting the lower size ballast in these. I mean, I'm not actually complaining, because if you think of the other videos, let's open this in fact, if you think of the other videos where I was testing the efficiency of the LEDs and how it fell the harder you drove it, then running the LED at 4 watts, which is about just under half its rated output, is going to result in an increase in efficiency. You're not going to get uh, the same amount of light as running it at 10 watts, but um, it's not going to be, it's going to be around about half the amount of light probably. So let's see what's inside. I can guess it'll just be one of those tiny little ballasts. I wonder if it'll be potted or it'll just be open because this was really cheap. It's quite a neat little thing I have to say. It's got quite deep fins in the back which is good. Oh, right, okay. It's got one of the, it's got the, that's unusual, that's the first time I've seen that um, in these. And they're not doing the diagonally opposite uh, screws this time on the reflector, it's actually just one at either side. And the earth is, oh blimey, there's another new one. Uh, they've got four screws on the LED. That's the first time I've seen that, I think. Yep, they're nice and tight. There's the earth and the, there's the heat sink compound squishing out one side and, and the bottom as well, so that's pretty good. This little module will be the typical type that you can just pop open with a screwdriver. And I kind of know what's in here because the LED will almost certainly be running at 12 volts. Let's get let's meter that in fact. Let's meter it and see what voltage it's running at. So stick to that to volts, DC volts, and we'll plug it in. And I'll stick the meter, I'll just untangle the leads first. And what voltage? 12 volts? Yeah, 10 volts, 10.3, so it's just the, it's the series parallel array of three chips. So they've got three multiples of three chips in series, all hooked in parallel. So um, let's unplug that again. And I shall pop this open. And I know what's going to be in here, I think. I mean, having said that, it's surprised me with everything else. So maybe it's not what I'm thinking it's going to be. It's quite hard to open, I have to say. Yeah, that's well clipped shut. Oh, it's actually disintegrating slightly. Ah. It's well clipped shut. Yeah, just the absolute bog standard little power supply. 
the usual thing, the incoming bridge rectifier, I mean, it's the generic PCB that you see in everything. The wires haven't been tacked on that well. They've not been soldered that well, but that's all right. That could be fixed. And it's got the typical uh, chip with a wee blue stripe across it. It's a, that's probably a BP chip, a bright power chip. I mean, it's the same circuit board as all the others with the uh, really simple, the rectifier capacitor, really simple driver chip. Is this a 4.7 microfarad? Yes, it is. 4.7400 volt. Um, that chip that just does everything. It's got a, just a few support components for suppression across the uh, the primary. Uh, one for setting the sort of current it's going to sense. Um, and really there's not much else. Uh, apart from that, you've got one rectifier diode and a, a smoothing capacitor in the secondary, and that's it. And nothing in the back whatsoever other than just a few tracks. It's, you know, that's pretty neat. I kind of like the fact they've used one of these in it. And they didn't just use heat shrink as many would kind of do. I can't remember which way around that went, don't think it really matters which way around it goes, but yeah. It's a neat, neat little light, I kind of like this. This strikes me, oh actually that's upside down isn't it, that's why it's not going in so easily. It strikes me that uh, this would be ideal as an outside light, just on 24-7. Because, um, God, the, the box really dwarfs the little module, doesn't it? It's tiny in there. Um, but this would be a good light on 24-7, just because it's going to be very low power consumption. The LED is being grossly underrun, and um, it's going to last a long time, and everything about it is serviceable. I wonder how waterproof it is. I mean, the seal looks okay. The seal looks uh, quite well designed. It's got a waterproof inlet connector in the back, although that does run in the vicinity of those... Uh, ribs, but I wonder if they're, I wonder how it, uh, oh no, I see, I think it's got a raised rim of metal where the actual, the crimp goes on, then the crimp, the gland. Yeah, you know what, this is quite a cute little light. That's actually quite nice. Might change it for a warm white LED, because the LEDs are only about a pound or just over a dollar each, so, you know, that's that's not a bad little light at all. Yeah, this is this is a, a good find. Um, I'll leave a note where I got it uh, in the description below.